Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos, this is Aviation04 and today we're going to be reviewing the Gemini Jets American A319. So first off, I want to give a big thank you to Justin Winslow, he was the one who actually sold me this model once he was selling some of his models. I bought this over the summer and I'm just getting around to it now to review it, so I apologize for the wait, but nevertheless, let's get right into it. So this model was made back in 2015 and this was a time when the CFM engines were really good and Gemini was actually probably at the peak of where, where they were at the time. Nowadays they've had quite a few flaws but I'm not going to get into it right now. But going through the model now, we're going to start up front with the nose cone, you have your cockpit windows, your L1 door, the antenna above, the big American Airlines logo and titles. You then have the nose gear down below and I'll touch on that a little later. And then moving back, you have your wings and your perfectly sized CFM engines. Again, these were really good at the time, and I don't know what happened to them. They, Gemini has just progressively gotten worse with them, but I hope they can eventually go back to this mold. When they did the United A319 in the new livery about two years ago at this point, those were the IFE engines, but the mold was actually really good, and everyone was satisfied with that for the most part. But then moving back, you have your registration, which is November 725 Uniform Whiskey, and then you have your American Airlines tail. Going over to the other side, the only difference is you just have your luggage doors. So if you look in this picture too, you can see it's the single wing piece rather than the double wing where they're fused in, which I honestly prefer the, the two separate piece of wings when done right. NG Models, for example, does a really good job of it. Gemini can do a good job of it at times, but they're relatively inconsistent with it. But when done right, two, the two-piece wing molds are really great. But for the time, the one-piece wing mold actually did pretty well. And then taking a quick look at the box, you just have your standard Gemini box, nothing special about it at all. Again, it was a 2015 release, back when Gemini was pretty much in their prime. So getting into the ratings now, this model is actually going to do pretty well. For the graphics and the printing, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 because they did a really good job with it. And there is one little small issue on the antenna. There's the smallest paint chip in the world. You could barely even see it, but I, I did notice it. But I'm going to forgive that just because it was a used model. So I don't know if it was something to do with that or not, or if it was actually the company that did it. Now, color is where we get into kind of a gray area. It's it's a problem that Gemini's had with all American models and a, mo a problem that a lot of companies have with American models is the color. For this color, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because recently I did the American Eagle CRJ900. I gave that one a 10 out of 10. I was really impressed with that color that they did. This one's a little darker than that color and it's similar to how the A320 was in 2020 when they released that color, that darker gray color. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. And as for the mold, there's not that many problems with it, and at the time, it was actually a really good mold, and still is at this point in, in time. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10, just because of that wing gap. Again, not a big deal, but the CFM engines were really on point during this time in 2015. I would not mind if they brought this one back at all. I don't think many collectors would be, would be, I don't think many collectors would be too angry against it, so... So overall, I'm going to give this a 27 out of 30. That equals out to a 90%, and I'm going to give that an A-. Not a bad job by Gemini on this one. I'm really impressed with it, and I'm really excited to add this to the collection and the other airports. Now, the other thing, too, is I got this model before Gemini started releasing a good amount of the American narrow body. So they recently have done the A319 with Sharklets, and they've also done it with... They've also done the A320. So... So if you're looking for an American narrow body, those are two pretty good ones. I have, I have seen some pretty good things about them. Again, the CFM engines are going to be a little bigger, but but yeah, I'm, I'm really satisfied with this model and I'm very excited to add it to, to my fleet as I've needed an American model. So with that, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed as it helps the channel grow some. We're on the road to 500. I'm going to hopefully continue to upload. I know I keep saying it, but I'd like to stick with what I'm going to say this time and I'm going to continue to upload and I'd love to get to 500 before the summer. I hope everyone has a great day and goodbye.